Hello everyone, my name is Raj Mahale and I'm on the advisory board for Center for Global Business here at McCombs. And I wanna thank you for having me on today. I'm a practicing attorney and I've been practicing for almost 25 years, mainly focusing on cross-border M&A, private equity and fund formation. And here I'm here to talk to you about the trend lines that we're seeing at the midway point of 2020. Um, I am a partner at a law firm based in Atlanta, but I'm in the New York office and, and been a partner at a couple of large New York City law firms in my career. Today, I want to mainly focus on a report that came out by PricewaterhouseCoopers on the trend lines for 2020 M&A and other deal flow. Um, 2020 has been a tough year. Um, it's uh, uh, the first six months, uh, the deal flow has been down. But if there is a silver lining, we do see more and more deals coming, especially in quarter three and quarter four. Um, and on a personal note, and I want to say, I think when we look back in history, uh, we're going to look back and see 2020 as a year that galvanized humanity, in my personal opinion. Um, more and more people are more collaborative worldwide, and we're trying to get things done and moving. So before further ado, I want to uh, read you some stats that, uh, that I synthesized from the PricewaterhouseCoopers report that just came out in July on the M&A activity here and abroad. Um, in the second quarter of 2020, deals dropped by about 29% from a year ago, and the values fell by over 80% from a year ago. This is the largest year-over-year -year decline since the dot-com recession of 2001. That being said, the deal volumes in May, June are even higher than they were in April. And a few deal, M&A deals have been announced in July that have been in the press, especially the one that's been circulating regarding TikTok, as we know, a, a Microsoft uh, looking to acquire TikTok 100%. Um, the cross-border M&A took a huge drop in the first quarter of 2020. And the second quarter of 2020, it declined even further by 30% from a year earlier. However, we're seeing a steady increase in deal activity in July and going to, to August. The deal sizes are much, much smaller as compared to 2019, but the activity is there. The main drivers of the M&A activity we see is in the technology. Among the 1,600 corporate acquisitions that were done in the first two quarters of 2020, technology companies were the targets representing about 65% of the total in Q1 and Q2 of 2020, which is a 30% increase from 2019. We are also seeing an uptick on what we see is what's called a special purpose acquisition vehicle or SPACs. A SPAC is a company with no commercial activity formed primarily to raise capital through an IPO, commonly referred to a blank check company. We do see a trend that there's a more and more increased activity in these types of SPACs in Q3 and Q4. And this is a huge trend line from the early days of SPACs, which we saw a lot in the early 2000s and 2011s. Um, Overall, um, I personally think Q4 into next year, uh, the M&A activity may rebound, uh, the caveat being uh, the impact of COVID, obviously. But in general, the trend lines look promising, and I want to thank you for having me on today.